morning, everyone. I'm Roger Harvey. The man believed responsible for Richmond's worst mass murder has been caught. When Vanessa Patterson got the news, she immediately got on the phone. Did y'all hear? Did y'all hear? Then some of friends said, no, I didn't hear. I said, they got him. News that Goins had been caught spread like wildfire. The news was good. We can really sleep at night, you know, knowing that he is not out there doing something to somebody else. It was on a sad, rainy October 14th that police discovered the bodies of the Jones family in their Gilpin Court apartment. There was more rain today, but the mood was joyful. We caught Suzette Malone dancing upon hearing the news. I can't believe! I can't believe! Everybody's been afraid. And I guess when everybody find out that he done been picked up, everybody's going to be all right now. Because a lot of young children around here are still afraid. This woman wouldn't give her name, but agreed to talk on camera. I said, thank you, Jesus. Why? Because somebody like that don't deserve to be out on the street to take innocent children's lives. I said, thank you, God. I'd rather put him, call him for me to hit the lottery this time. Why? Because I feel like it was just a crime against all of us. Quentin Smithers says he's a friend of Goins. The news hit hard. In my opinion, Christopher wasn't a violent guy as I knew him. You know, he was, you know, always smiling, you know, he'd, he'd loan you the shirt off his back. But um, if he um, committed this crime, you know, then police have done a great job by catching him. While crime is no stranger to Gilpin Court, people who live here believe they can finally come outside again. And though Christopher Goins has not been convicted of any crime, residents believe their nightmare is finally ending. In Richmond, Mike Corbin, WTVR News Channel 6.